Hi, it's Brent Abel here, Web Tennis, and uh, I want to give you a couple quick tips here. Uh, number one, on a return to serve lob, and then number two, you know, who takes the overhead when it's lobbed right back down the middle between, uh, you know, you and your partner. And, you know, the first thing I want you to start thinking about is I I'm going to get a second serve here from Greg. And, you know, we, we've been playing the match for a little bit here, and I've already sort of established on this that I'm, if he's going to kick it up high here, that I'm going to take this and I'm going to chip it down low to his feet. And, you know, from this setup position here, it looks like I'm really kind of getting ready to do that again. You know, here's the ball, here's my racket up here, and, a, you know, a non-drive sort of set, more of a chip, uh, kind of a chip and charge type of, type of return to serve. And, you know, once I've established that in both of my opponent's minds, and, you know, Cliff is right here, you know, he's going to kind of close, and here comes Greg, he's serving a volume behind it. And really what I'm going to do here at the last second is go ahead and just play a lob, and you can see where, you know, I've got these guys. I mean, the lob does not have to be great. Um, you know, really from, let's put it from right about here, these guys don't know a lob is coming. And I've already, you know, set this up with a couple of chip and charge returns. So now I've got them, you know, closer than that. The lob doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, Greg's got to go handle it. And I'm going to play this as my, you know, approach shot return to serve. And, you know, what shot right now do you think is most likely to come back? Well, you're right, it's a lob. So, you know, neither Jim nor I are going to be closing, and we're now looking for the lob from Greg. You know, and, and Greg goes ahead and throws it up there. Now, you know, here's tip number two for the day. You know, who's going to take this overhead where it's going to land actually just inside Jim's court here? You know, do we want Jim, just because it's on his half of the court, to have to handle kind of a high backhand, or are we okay with me going over here and just slightly encroaching on Jim's side just to be able to play the overhead? And so that's kind of the rule of thumb here, is that whoever's got the overhead in the middle is going to go ahead and play it. And, you know, one of the reasons I play it over here to Cliff is because you know, I know that both Jim and I are over in this half of the court now. If I play it back over here to Greg, he's got a wide open lane here. If I play it over here to Cliff, I can easily kind of scoot back in here and cover my side of the court. And, uh, you know, ends up being a pretty tough overhead and doesn't come back. So, you know, let's go ahead and play this in real time just to kind of give you a feel for it. You know, so there you have it. So, you know, two things for today. You know, when you're when you're returning that second serve, uh, return a serve in doubles. You know, you, you know, you need to chip it down. You know, either with a forehand or backhand, or sometimes you can drive the forehand if it's not up too high. The backhand's a lot easier to chip down once it gets up there off a good second serve. And Greg's got a good, you know, kicking, kicking second serve. Um, but, you know, once you've established that in your opponent's minds that you can chip it cross court, you've then got to show them a lob. Even if you lose that point for the rest of the match, you now sort of get them sort of having to play neutral. They don't know if you're going to chip it down low or if you're going to lob. And then number two, and this is kind of a bonus tip for today, is that, you know, once, once, you, get, once you get that lob over your opponent, and, you know, both of you guys, and I'm talking about me and Jim, you know, what, what's Greg at the most going to do? We know he's going to lob, so we're not going to close all over the net. And, you know, sure enough, here comes back in the middle. You know, I, I think we're going to assume that it's, I've got a better overhead than Jim does on a backhand high volley. So I'm going to go ahead, croach on his side a little bit, take it, and, uh, and there you have it. All right? How about you? I mean, are, are you, you know, using a lot of chip and charge, uh, second serve, return of serves and doubles? Are you going ahead establishing that and then lobbing it occasionally? And what about, you know, once you and your partner get that lob in the middle? You know, are you guys deciding that whoever got the overhead is going to take it? Or really, are you going whoever side it's on? You know, leave me a comment right below in the comments area. Any questions, ask Brent at webtennis.net. Have a great day out there.